What is going on, SMT Nation? We back. We're doing some speed testing here. AT&T just did an upgrade here at Rocky River High School. And we got the 5G Plus fixings. N77, 3700 frequency. And also the 3450 frequency. So those are those combined for the N77. AT&T has 40 megahertz of each. And they should be on air as of right now. Uh, but in order to do that, I got to check it a couple different ways here. We're going to speed test first on the um, iPhone 14 Pro Max. That'll give us a baseline of what most people have in terms of phones around these parts. Mostly an iPhone territory. Uh, but we do have the Galaxy S22. And that one I can check, like, the, the channels and the bandwidth and everything. So 298 down, 51 up. That's really good uplink for AT&T. 39 ping and... 11 millisecond jitter let's give it a second test just in case we like to make sure that we get the proper results reproducibility is is important uh, got to be able to get the results multiple times but i think this one's going to hold up pretty good this is probably what it's going to be all right so 43 millisecond jitter 16 ping and we got 305 on the down and looks like about 31 on the up. So the uplink suffering just a smidge, okay, compared to the first test. Let's go ahead and test it on the Ultra. Now this is um, this is Project Genesis, so it's not official AT&T, which is interesting. I don't know what I did to my settings on my cellular, but now, um, now I'm like stuck on AT&T. I'm not on Dish, so I'm going to have to fiddle with the settings a little bit. Uh, but you will see we're getting more speed here. I'm going to go ahead and speculate that maybe the Galaxy is doing the combination of the band with the two frequencies, so 80 megahertz combined. But we're not getting it here on the iPhone. Uh, that's what I'm speculating. All right, so 398 down and 36 up, 33 ping, 17 jitter. So the connection is pretty similar with the exception of the downlink being a little bit faster, having a little bit more speed. That could be the additional bandwidth. Uh, we're going to confirm that here in a second. All right, the ping just got cut in half. 18 millisecond ping on this test with a four jitter. I'm going to head over to the service menu, and I'm going to see if I can identify what channels we're connected to and type of bandwidth we got going on. All right, so 377 on the downlink, so that's pretty consistent. Uplink looks about the same as well. We're in the upper 30s, possibly 36 megabits per second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over into the menu. I'm going to take a look to see if uh, what the situation is. Let me go ahead and pull on the connection. It'll pull the channels here. All right, here we go. I'm going to click on SIM 1 information. Okay, N77, it's active. We got 10 megabits, uh, 10 megahertz of band 66, 40 N77. Both N47, uh, N77s. See how we got the DoD down here? Uh, that ARFCN, that's for the 3450. And this one up here is for the 3700. So it is combining it. At least it's there. It's shown in the service mode. Okay, 402 down and 33 up. I'm going to slide back over and try that again. 26 ping, 16 jitter. Okay. Oh, that's the other sim. And we'll see if there's any more other bandwidth here. Anything else? Nope, that's it. That's it on here. The 10 megahertz of the band 66 is the anchor. We're still NSA here, right, folks? So we're still using LTE. All right, so uh, 383 down and 30 up. There's your iPhone comparison uh, to the, the Galaxy. And, you know, maybe there's a little bit of QCI difference there with Project Genesis. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, we'll just run one more test here. I'm going to go ahead and test some the Verizine for you guys here too as well since I'm here. A uh, little birdie told me to come over and do some testing uh, to see if that it was working better or something, so... We'll see if that's the case. So I'll switch this over. Get on the Verizon side. Okay, and that test should be just about done as well. 
All right, 388 down, 32 up. Looks like 28 ping, 5 jitter. Let's go ahead and test the Verizon now. It just says AT&T, the app didn't refresh or whatever. It's definitely Verizon. Oh, we got an error. Which we'll see, we got the 5G Ultra Wideband right there. Just changed providers. All right, so we're golden. It is defaulting to the Cleveland Verizon server, so that's good. Let's see how it performs. Little birdie told me to come by and test it and said it was working better. Uh, the problem I was having before was it wasn't wanting to connect to the millimeter wave. It was defaulting to the C-band. Big trust, guys. If you got millimeter wave available, that's the channel you want to be on. You want to be on the N260, 39 gigahertz. It's 800 megahertz of bandwidth. <laughs> that's the one you want to be on. It looks like it's still having those same issues, at least with the iPhone. All right, 643 down. 49 up with a 38 ping and a 6 jitter. All right, we'll 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 run another test. We'll see if we can figure this out and see what's happening. Uh, I really thought I was going to see something a little different here, but I don't know. Looks like more of the same. I don't think it's really been fixed at all. I don't know what the settings are, you know, like from the system side. Why it wants to default to C-band. I I would assume that they would want the millimeter wave as the primary carrier in this case, but whatever. 630, uh, 634 down, 45 up, 39 ping, and 2 jitter. I think what we'll do is we'll also test the LTE side because this site also has uh, CBRS, millimeter wave and C-band here. Oh, wait a minute. Interesting development on the Pixel. I just ran this speed test here. Pixel 7 Pro. 37 ping, 6 jitter. 927 down. And 52 up. That's interesting. What are we connected to? Millimeter wave. N260. That one's definitely not connected to N260. Okay, so... Yeah, this one definitely was connected to the millimeter wave. There's not enough bandwidth on the c-band channel currently to probably support more than six seven hundred eight hundred megabits down so th that's interesting right now hmm. let's see she'll s still showing the 39 gigahertz and 260 it's weird Interesting, it's doing the, uh, it's showing C-band, actually, for the downlink, ARFCN. Huh. Then it's showing the N26. This is really funny. I hope the right people see this. And, uh, maybe figure out what's going on with these devices. Okay. All right, now we're back on millimeter wave. Huh. Unstable on these devices, that's for sure. So the Pixel 7 Pro is picking up the millimeter wave. The iPhone isn't when both of these connections are available. Maybe we should go ahead and test the LTE. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Switch the iPhone to LTE and see what we get there. 923 down and 52 up. 31 ping. 3 jitter. All right, let's try the iPhone and LTE then. I'm going to put the Pixel into LTE as well. And then we'll see what channels we're connected to here. We'll see if the CBRS is cooking. All right, 49 ping, 13 jitter. 172 on the down. And about the same uplink as before. Okay. 47 uplink, so that's the iPhone. LTE on the Pixel 7 Pro over here. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, we're getting some faster speeds here. All right, let's check this. Okay, it's still showing this. I'm going to have to shut this down and restart it. 10 carrier aggregation. It's it's showing the millimeter wave connection. 
because that would be eight channels. There's the band 48. Huh. AWS is the anchor. Uh, I don't really have much to go off of. Up oh, it failed. No. Oh. Let's try this again. 39 ping, 5 jitter. Okay. We're definitely on the CBRS channels, folks. There's no way those sub 3 gigahertz frequencies are doing this. Not on this site. Too much traffic on it. All right, 266 down, and we're back in the 40s on the up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Damn. Can't really tell. Can't comment or speculate. 266 down, 41 up. Let's go back to the iPhone and see if we can reproduce these speeds like what's on the Pixel. Yeah, I don't know if this site's actually... Um, I don't know if it's really been fixed. It's either that or we have hardware problems on two different phones. The Pixels modems, uh, the Pixel modem and the iPhone modem. I guess the only way I'd be able to confirm is if I can get this thing unlocked, the S22, do some testing. 46 ping, 5 jitter, 175 down and 24 up. I don't know, it's a head scratcher. And by the way, you guys know this site. We've tested this site before. Uh, not new at all. Uh, but, like I said, I, I came back to test it as a follow-up because it was acting up. Rock River High School, Cleveland, Ohio. Give you guys a view of what's up here. Okay, so, over here... Uh, I'm going to try to... <laughs> Let me try to give you guys a point. Right there is the Ed 77. Right there is the millimeter wave. Right above it is... The CBRS, and to the right is the radio, so those are the antennas. Uh, the, the N77 is an, is an all-in-one antenna radio combo. The millimeter wave is antenna radio combo. And then the CBRS, that's a, an antenna with the radio right next to it. Converted from Nokia over to Samsung. Anyways, that's the testing, guys. Let me know what you guys think of it. Like what you see, don't like what you see. I don't know what's happening. I'll be back to test this thing when it's fixed. I'll try to figure things out, and we'll see when, when it gets right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Uh, everything going on with the channel, we got links in the description. Words of positivity as we head out today. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.